Lovers and haters are Rod Seller. This is Rod Seller. And just coming home from work. Um, I just visited my brother in the hospital. He's slowly recovering from the food poisoning that, that uh, he dealt with. And I think um, he also dealt with... Because um, he, he got vaccinated back in 2021. And I think that Visor uh, vaccine did something to him. So there's that. But speaking of 2020 and, and all that stuff, remember the pandemic and all that crap? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm noticing stuff's happening again. Mass mandates again. No, I don't want to wear masks. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, Brian. For, uh, leave me alone about masks. I don't want to wear a mask. <laughs> well, it's coming back. And um, another bad thing, the supply chain. The supply chain is really terrible. And um, North Dakota is not even that big. Fargo's not even that big. And they're having terrible supply chains. So what is it like in the big cities? I'm quite sure a lot of your supplies like um, water, um, rice, Toilet tissue, uh, baby formula, uh, what else? Dog food, cat food. I bet all y'all stuff is rated. I bet you, okay? Because it's rated, and it's in a small town like Fargo. Fargo ain't that big. Fargo's only the size of what? Maybe Tallahassee, maybe? Same with Grand Forks. Grand Forks ain't that big either. No, no. So can, can you imagine what's going on in the bigger cities? Oh my gosh, like I said, I don't have time for no special needs idiot constantly bothering me, constantly saying my name like a little retard. I don't have time for idiots like him. Don't even have your life together. I'm tired of this idiot. I'm tired of him coming after me with another account and this and that. You know what? You know what's funny? Shout out to my supporters. Shout out to you guys for calling him out for being a liar. Yeah, because, oh, in order to get a real estate license in Florida, you have to have a high school diploma. Yeah, y'all called him out. Y'all called him out for what he was doing. Y'all called him out. That's a great job, guys. Great job. Called his worthless ass out. Get tired of his nonsense, man. And like I said, we got more important things because there's another variant of the COVID thing coming out. Another variant. They're going to start their lockdown nonsense against me. This is how I'm not going to say certain things. But yeah, and you know what? Maybe it's just time, you know, China takes us out, you know? Especially if they allow certain people to get reelected when they don't deserve it. Okay? I I mean, just, just trash. Total trash. In fact, if it gets to that point, I might just turn traitor on this country. I'm dead serious because I'm, I'm just so upset. You know? I'm that, I'm that upset about it. I'm that upset about it. Yeah. Just turn turn complete traitor. I don't care. Like I said, my, like I, said I don't feel like that. I don't matter. My, my voice doesn't matter. You know? And that's all. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? But I'm just, just tired of this crap, man. You know, I mean, we're, we're three years into this nonsense, and we're still dealing with COVID. We're still dealing with um, mask uh, restrictions. We're still dealing with supply chain issues. We're still, we're, oh, and it gets worse. We're dealing with hyper hyperinflation. Yeah, I call this hyperinflation. It's not just your normal inflation. It's hyperinflation, right? And then, you know, I, I, I've been told multiple years, Oh, you got to get prepared. You got to get prepared, okay? Okay, the situation with me, I saw the train coming. You know, Jeremiah Babe told me the train was coming. Boom Bear Bus told me the train was coming. You know, Civil Report on Cut told me the train was coming. Money GPS told me the train was coming. All of them told me the train was coming. And let me tell you something. I knew the train was coming. I, I heard the whistle. I heard, I heard, I could feel the shaking. But the problem was I couldn't get out of the way. Because I never recovered from 2008. Never recovered from my mom's trail. Never recovered. Like I said, can't even recover from, from COVID. Okay? I'm a millennial. Okay? Born in 1988. I'm a millennial. And let me tell you something. We millennials, Gen Zers, everybody like that, we are worse off than the baby boomers. Okay? And these ba same baby boomers will call us lazy, will call us entitled, will call us all these stupid names, and they had it good. Okay? They were able to get a house when they were like 25 years old, okay? They were able to do stuff, you know, have their businesses when, when they're 30 years old, okay? Baby boomers had it so good. And then they would attack us, say, oh, we're lazy, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just stupid, real dumb. They never went through a pandemic. 
Baby Boomers never went through a pandemic. Baby Boomers never went through hardship. That's why they, they, they could shut that mess up in their... their oh, gosh, man. Gosh, I want to I wanna say certain things, but I can't say it because YouTube might say, Oh, it's, you need guidelines. It's trash. Trash. Like I said, I'm slowly slowing down on, on upload on YouTube because I'm tired of their nonsense. Okay? I'm tired of their, their, their foolishness. Uh, I will be uploading this on Rumble. Um, it's just, just been really hard. And so, uh, just wow. Just wow. Anyway. And uh, I, 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 like I said, once again, I want to shout out to this guy. The prison you call life. I love that guy's channel, man. He's just telling it for what it is. He's telling it for what it is. How how pathetic and meaningless this life truly is, man. Like I said, just just wow. But I love that guy. That guy's telling the truth. You know, he's telling the truth so much. Oh my gosh. And like I said, I keep forgetting every day. Earth is a prison planet. Life is a prison. Earth's a prison. We were brought here against our will. We never agreed to this crap. There are no lessons up in here. The only lesson that you, you learn is that you have to be a supervillain to get rich. You have to be a supervillain. You have to be that. You have to, you have to be a cutthroat, um, merciless. And, and then you have to do it all without getting caught. Right? You have to do it all without getting caught. You know, pretend to be some charitable or whatever, but in fact, it's your agenda. Your, your agenda, this and that and this and that, you know? You, know, you have to be a super villain to, to get ahead in life, okay? You, it, it, there is no play fair because the game is, was rigged from the very beginning. Life was rigged from the very beginning. Everything is based on what family you were born into, right? What race you were born into, right? Okay? What era you were born into, okay? It's all rigged. You know, I need to stop caring. Stop caring about life. I need to stop doing that, man. Because like, this, this entire thing is a joke. Okay, the the criminal system is a joke. The political system is a joke. Oh, oh of course, spirituality is a joke. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something, y'all, y'all Abraham believers, y'all worship something equivalent to Frieza. Seriously, you do. You worship if, if if the Abrahamic God is real, he's like Frieza. Okay, he's going to destroy you no matter what you do for him. Okay. You, 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 you could praise him, whatever, whatever. He gonna still destroy you. And I came to that conclusion. Okay? He's like Frieza. Seriously. Frieza from Jack Ball Z. Yeah, yeah. Just, just wow. You know, and that's, that's like the new argument. You know, forget about, oh, oh, he's not real. No, I'll just say he's real, but he's like Frieza. He's like Frieza. You know? Anyway. Gosh. And I don't know when I'll be able to enjoy another video game. I don't know when. Because I'm always working. All the time. Yeah, I know. Sluggish Dorian. And like I said, holding me back. I know. I'm trying to get to a point where he can actually like like get his own car, get his own stuff, so I can separate from him. I'm trying to get to that point. But it's, it's really real difficult. Real difficult, man. Like I said, Ty ain't my friend. I'm 35. You know, five years from now, I'm gonna be 40 years old. You know? Just just wow. Uh, whatever I'm trying to do, I need to have it out by 40 years old, or at least close to it. You know, no more talking. I just do it, or it ain't gonna get done. Like I said, I'm tired. Like I said, all these setbacks, setbacks, setbacks. I'm, I'm tired of the setbacks. I just want, just, just sick of it. Anyway, that's all I'll say for right now. My rambling. Russell, signing out.